What up? It's Northern Scripture. And I'm live. Doing something different this time. I'm just going to do a straight up commentary style. Let me know if you like it. I think it'll have a better flow and a better feel. But for those of you who haven't watched any of my other videos, we will be making two lures today. And it will be a step-by-step -step process of how I put them together. So, what's cracking? How y'all feeling? Doesn't it feel like we're just sitting on the couch together checking this out? Here we go. First layer, like always, on and popping. Went with the brown. I'm really excited that this one was a buzz blade. The last one worked out really well. Although it really only stayed within a foot of the surface, I swear to God, it was literally impossible to get the thing to get any deeper. So this time, instead, I put a weight on the front to make sure that we got that nose down. Because I kind of want this one to get a little deeper. Probably use it off a boat as opposed to off the shore like I used the other one. So if you've watched my other videos, the lure I made for one of my good friends, I just, I fell so much in love with it that I, uh, I had to go off of the same type of pattern style. Just, uh, I couldn't get enough of it. I had it for a few days before I had to give it to him and by the time it came time to give it to him, I didn't want to. <laughs> so I was all upset. So I made this one for myself. Even though I should be making them for other people. That's my objective is to make lures and get them out there. So that's a future goal. Get that up and running. But for now I uh, made this one for myself. And you can see like always I've separated them in twos I believe here. No threes. That's a, it's always a good ratio. It pulls nice. Sometimes they twirl while they're getting pulled through the water. And other times they don't. I'm not really sure what's up with that. But I'll figure it out. If you all know, you can let me know in the comments. I definitely enjoy feedback. I've gotten some really good feedback from the community. And I enjoy it. And that's the whole purpose of this is to enjoy it together so keep the comments coming and I will always respond as much as I can lately I've been a little bit busy I just got a new computer so we'll see what's up with that I'm still learning it I'm embarrassed to say but I will say that I was running off a power PC and if you're not laughing by now Thank God you don't know what that is. But so I finally upgraded and hopefully everything will be now brought to you in 1080 straight up. I'm also going to move on to slowly transform it into more of an episode style show where we will combine fishing on the water with the lure that I make. For the video so everything will be nice and tight I think everybody will enjoy it I'll enjoy making it I always enjoy fishing non-stop here we go a little bit of fur in there I definitely wanted to point that out as we're watching this my good uh, new friend Don there, Rattlesnake, Custom Rods, absolutely phenomenal. Definitely pointed out his enjoyment for fur. So I thought I'd put a nice collar of fur in there. I have to say it looks pretty nice. I'm not really going to dip back into the big fur yet, but I will soon. I think uh, for now, a couple layers on the outside might just do me fine. 
I really like those red beads. I think they're called like blood eye or something, but so I wrapped the weight at the front too, just to make it red. I don't even know. I probably, I don't know if that's going to help. I actually think it might do worse having it up there, but we'll find out. No harm done. So it looks pretty good. I'd have to say, uh, I don't know. When I'm looking at them, I feel like I'm looking at it like a little baby bird or some shit. All right, let's move on. We're going to finish this one up, move on to the next one. As always, I did this one in three layers, wrapped it up nice and tight to the bead, glued it to the bead. Everything else is free except for the weight at the front. All right, let's move on to the next one. Yep. So another lure I definitely enjoyed making and using was the jointed. It worked completely crazy. Once again, I took some tips into my creation of this one. Sorry, I was lost in thought there for a second. <laughs> and uh I know this one's going to turn out a lot better than the last. It's going to pull better. Um, when I did use the other one, I noticed when you give it the littlest jerk, if you have little to no weight on the back, you really get a kicking motion. And it almost just bends like a V. And I've yet to actually have the hook swing around and catch the lure or the line. I do like to get aggressive with jerking it, no pun intended, <laughs> but uh, I definitely find when I'm being more violent with the pull, I have a lot more success than if I'm just steady pulling through the water in a straight motion. So the kicking definitely helps with that. So this is what I was going for, the more brighter pattern. I've had a lot of success with the red and white, so I definitely wanted to make one for myself that was red and white, but I'm such a fan of the brown that I just couldn't resist popping a little bit of that in there, <laughs> like always. But this one I'm definitely going to go in and trim the feathers up after it's all done to get a good shape of a body. The white ones here are a little too long for my liking. Shave them down to make the brown look almost a little bit longer than them. So here I'm back to the uh, pheasant feathers again. And I wrap them as a neck all in one. Because it is actually really hard to get. These are so tiny that if you put them on one by one, it just takes forever. So I grab a whole whack load of them and wrap them around together and then... It's just a big bulk and you can also get a nice round form there too so when you're wrapping the string you can get a good uniform shape now this tip here too i just wanted to point out i've angled it up hoping that maybe it will not spin as much like the whole lure and just the blade will spin thinking you know maybe i can bring down the line twist in it I'm not really sure. I don't really care that much about line twist. It's never been that much of a problem for me. But some people, that might be a problem. It's not for me. But so I put a little red collar on here to pop that out a little bit. There's so much other red on it that I didn't want a big gap in the red. So I pop that in there to go along with the red thread that I'll attach to the end. I have to say, this one, I, I'm really happy about the two that I made for myself here. I think it'll be good re representation of myself when I uh, <clears throat> run into people while I'm fishing. And I'm trying to promote my product, which is absolutely impossible, it seems. But I'm doing my best. Although uh, my online presence hasn't been as much recently because of the new computer. I've been learning a lot about it. I had to get a lot of new programs, so I'm just trying to get all the footage I've already had out off of my old computer, and we're going to move on 
to the episodes, which I hope everybody will enjoy a lot more. We'll get a lot more length in them. And it will be a lot more enjoyable with guests and whatnot. And live fishing, obviously. And we'll see how these puppies react in the water. So stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, I would love if you did. I'm Northern Scripture. And this is my Bucktail Madness. Distracted mind, never focused well.